Oh my gosh. We just come from town oh, to get a parcel from the post office. It was crazy. It's crazy. It shouldn't really take that long. I got a taxi and uh, it has taken me so long just to move across town. Almost two hours. Just to go to town and come back. At some point I thought about taking a border but I didn't have my helmet. So, <laughs> oh, the funniest thing happened to me in the post office. Oops. Ugh. I have things all over me. Ugh. 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 Ah, my bag is dusty. Ah, Kampala, you're too dirty. You're too dirty. You're too dirty. Do I sound bougie? <laughs> a hunky okay I'm going for a symposium starting at 2 30 it's near me so I'm gonna be there on time they never begin on time but just because people are incompetent I will not participate <laughs> I sound so bougie anyway I just don't like being late for stuff in general so yeah, so I got to the post office and it was quite a scene. So you go there, I went there and uh, gosh, let me just try and cool down. Let me get out of here. Put up my window a bit so they don't steal my camera. <laughs> yeah, so I went to the, so I went to the post office and this chick is there she's british caucasian very impatient so she comes and there's already a line yeah and so how these guys get the stuff is that they get your tracking numbers and go and get stuff in like a in like a group they don't serve one person at a time which is i think a system they think works but doesn't work because i don't know how they categorize things like behind you know but it means that if it's categorized according to countries, they have to go to different sections. If it's categorized according to alphabetical order, they have to go to different sections. Bye. And so it's like that. Like you have to wait. And I've been to the post office before, so I know it. So I even carried my lunch. I got like a, they call it like a submarine kind of thing and a bottle of water. So I went, gave in my uh, thing. I had like three packages to pick. I put it there and uh, yeah so I see that wait so this lady is so impatient she keeps mumbling so many things well because they, 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 they get your number they tell you go and sit down and wait and so she's like how long are we supposed to wait for can they tell us something <sighs> then there's a point she stepped on my bag so I told her oh, you stepping on my bag sorry and I'm like, hey, man, who are you annoyed at? Right? So this guy comes back with all our packages in one basket, ready to start, like, giving them out because he, like, gets everyone's thing, who is in the thing, and gives. So she jumps up, goes to the guy, and she's like, excuse me, I would like to know how, my, how long I'm supposed to wait for these packages. You know, should I come back after lunch? Da, 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 da. Hey, cari, cari. Like, how long am I supposed to wait? Da, da, da. So this guy, so none of us at that point could like tell her uh, he has just brought the packages, so he's kind of going to distribute them. We were quiet because, you know, Africans, Ugandans in particular, are passive aggressive. We just keep quiet and hope things work out for the best. <sighs> so, this chick is making so much noise at that point, as in she is literally shouting at the dude so rudely but also i could feel her frustration because you wait for a very long time instead of serving one person at a time it would go faster and especially when you've come from a place where in sweden like guys are running literally you give them track number they run to the back get the package run back like everyone's just on their feet running these guys they are not about that running jazz they're not paid enough to run and it's so guys are chilling so this chick is so pissed off so the guy is like very calm and he, he's like look there's a queue so even so even if your package is among these ones that i've brought you have to wait for me to call the person who came first and all that just she's like i understand but i just want to know how long you're going to take you just to be to sit there it's you give me such an ambiguous like how long is it going to take she's literally like 
she literally screaming at this point so this guy gets a bit pissed off and he's like three other people had come in while, while he was at the park so i saw three people for their packages so i can go behind and get more which is like weird because i'm like you've already bought these packages why don't you give those who have already come their packages and then you can deal with those guys later but i think he didn't want to deal with the shouting so he goes back in and then even answer the chick properly like tell her you know chick is still asking her questions how long is it gonna take should i come back after lunch I haven't... he just walks off when he walks off she storms off and while she's storming off she's like oh what get some effing customer care <laughs> you can fill in the blanks <laughs> i don't cast anyway so she shouts it as she walks off so as she walks off these these three fellas are sitting next to me and they start laughing and they're like i was going what so they're like doesn't she know that she has to wait over what she's like he said so some dude who i think thought he was very wise was like but this is how it is whichever country you go to hmm so these guys i think the other two guys had single of hey it's like that everywhere we all over the world hmm you try even going to the embassy you see you have to your number and wait because apparently the embassy is the farthest place you can go in uganda from uganda as in he reached the embassy and he told him he taught him about the whole world but that's how the whole world works you have to wait without any queue any numbers any like so that, like 30 seconds later she storms back in because i guess the package she had was more important than her integrity she had already stormed out as a principal but she came back in still storming and she's like but the guy had already gone to the back to get for those three other guys so she, he comes back she starts on him again saying the same exact thing i just wonder how long it's gonna take da, da, da. so in that mix the guy's like you know what eh? give me your idea and i get your package She's like, it's not like, I, it's not like I want to, to, to skip the queue. I just want to know how long, how many minutes. Is it an hour? Is it two hours so that I can plan my time? He's like, look, give me your ID, bring your things, let me do this and you go. So he's like, thank you, but I, I did plan to, to skip the queue. And I'm like, mm, yeah, right. <laughs> so in all this, she gets her thing and walks off. And because he gives her hers, his whole system is mixed up. So now he starts giving people from the last people who came. And us who came earlier, get it last. And I'm sitting there and something me also is like, let me also jump up and start making noise. Because I'm like, look, there was a queue. Why don't you follow the queue? Just because you favored her. Because you didn't want her, her, her noise. But again, I'm African. So passive aggressive. I just sat there and sighed. And breathed through. And then this guy who, the ignorant one who was talking about, who was, who was going to go as, as far as embassies, is like, are you okay? I looked at him and I was like, do I not look okay? He's like, I don't know, you don't look okay. I'm like, dude, what is it to you if I look okay? I don't know you. I don't really don't know you. And as you can see, we're in an unfair uh, line here. So... You know what's so funny is that as irritated she was rude truth be told she was rude she shouldn't be, you shouldn't speak to people in such a tone like they're stupid and you know like they're so ignorant you know that you can't you can't even understand the level of stupidity they are at no however much you feel it however much you feel it trust me we have all felt it there's a proper way to speak to people that's if you were brought up to speak to people in, in a proper way. It, it's, 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 it's a, we have a passive system where things are done at a slow rate. Because it took me, I sat at that post office for almost 45, 50 minutes, almost an hour. It wasn't even a crowd. We were at most 10 people in that section. I mean, obviously, the only example I have is Sweden. Because in Sweden, man, you'd, you'd go, there was a queue. You'd pick a number and know. Okay, I picked number 30, and right now they are dealing with number 10. Those are 20 people before me. Let me go to the supermarket and come back, you know? Or you pick a number and you see that, you know, it's this number, so you're soon. So you stick around. But here there was no line, everyone was crowding up, so I could feel her frustration. 
but still i mean guys especially foreigners this is goes to all for if you're a foreigner living in an african country especially uganda i mean the way you talk to people the system is is messed up that's true and even them they get to work in a broken system they get to work in a system probably where they haven't received salary for three months they are frustrated they are underpaid they are undervalued speak to people like you would want them to speak to you because i'm sure if that lady was working in that same position and someone spoke to her like that i mean it should be so pissed off so who does she think she is to speak to another person another human being like that like they're still human beings you know they're incompetent human beings but they are human beings and you would want someone to speak to you in a like as a grown-up i mean she literally belittled him she spoke to him told him how he has no customer care <laughs> anyway I don't know why I'm saying all this because I too was frustrated I was really pissed off and I'm always in this thing of being vocal and I didn't I didn't mind her being vocal like I don't mind you being vocal just be polite I mean damn be polite anyway she really let people laughing like guys just looked at her and at the end of the day, all you're gonna do is shake our heads and say, hmm, Abazongo. <sighs> I always look forward to these CPDs for, uh, organized by the Uganda Society of Architects. It's always so informative and stuff like that. The only criticism is that the implementation of the things we learn I think we'll just go there for that free coffee and the free biscuits and cake and samosas. I don't really feel like they go there and we are. Yeah, eh? We have really learned a lot. Uh, but I'm looking forward. It's also an opportunity for me to see like my former classmates, my former colleagues. Yeah. And um, yeah, just interact, interact with people in the industry. So you interact with fellow architects, with graduate architects, with even student architects, architectural students. So it's always nice. And this is the last one for the year. So. That's me voting. <sighs> Ugandans, it's like traffic lights, such a foreign element to them. It's like, what? Are those traffic lights? Oh my god. Anyway. So my hair is tied in Bantu knots. <laughs> because I Yes, madam. Yeah. Oh. What is good in your boat? That's it. And that, my friends, is how security checks. <laughs> These days, there's a security check like at every single point. Okay, time. I don't even remember which hole this thing is at. Let's go and attend this thing.